วิทยุมอมหาวิทยาลัยสงขลานครินทร่วมเปิดตำราตั้งวงสนทนาในชุมชนวิชาการสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับ uh, my name is Ajana Nana my name is Ajana Anu welcome to FMS h a d y a i t u Global So today we have once again have a very special guest, actually two very special guests, yes. um, who are going to share a little bit of, um, about logistics and specific logistics and Hatyai with us. So we're very much looking forward to it. So I would like to welcome uh, Assistant Professor Tira s a k j i n d a b u t in the house. Ka. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, so we just want to call you Ajahn Kim. Is that okay? Okay. All right, great. So our s- another special guest, Ajahn Arno, we have somebody from industry. This industry very famous, yeah, logistic industry. Yes, yeah, extremely that. important for Hatyai specifically, seeing as Hatyai is the economic hub of the south of Thailand. So we are very much looking forward to how logistic works in the south and specifically Hatyai. So please welcome. คุณปัทมาวดีแสงสด Hello ค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ So you are the managing director of a Star Logistics Thailand Yes Welcome to the house นะคะ Thank you for having me here And very special She is the alumni of FMS too Oh that's right Welcome back to oh. our home All right So we will come back after the break Now opening the one and only first in Southern Thailand, Master of Business Administration, International Program, Faculty of Management Science, Prince of Songkhla University, Hat Yai Campus. We provides a strong foundation in business administration with concentration in business management, business in ASEAN countries, finance, marketing, and any relevant business management. Studying at our MBA International Program. You will experience close relationship with professors and classmates from around the world. For more information, visit our website www.imba.fmspsu.com or call us at 082-661-6600. So um, we have a junk game here today because uh, we are here to hear about um, our faculty. Um, the Faculty of Management Sciences, and also specifically about programs that uh, the m a t i o m Six students might be interested in joining yep. after they uh, graduate high school. Yep. Uh, may I speak in Thai? Yeah, we can do <laughs> bilingual just for um, you know listeners out there, parents yes. can understand us yes. better. โอเคสำหรับน้องๆนะครับชั้นมัธยมปลายนะครับที่กำลังหาหลักสูตรที่จะเรียนอยู่นะครับก็ในคณะวิทยาการจัดการนะครับตอนนี้เราก็จะมีหลักสูตรในระดับปริญญาตรีนะครับบริหารธุรกิจบัณฑิตครับซึ่งเราก็มีหลายสาขาวิชาเอกนะครับให้น้องๆได้เลือกเรียนกันนะครับทั้งการเงินการตลาดการจัดการทรัพยากรมนุษย์การจัดการโลจิสติกและโซอุปทานระบบสารสนเทศทางธุรกิจหรือการจัดการไมซ์นะครับซึ่งน้องๆหลายคนก็อาจจะมีความสงสัยว่าแต่ละเอกแต่ละสาขาวิชาต้องเรียนอะไรกันบ้างอันนี้อาจารย์แนะนำนะครับว่าให้ลองเข้าไปที่ www.fms.psu.ac.th นะครับแล้วก็ลองศึกษาแต่ละหลักสูตรนะครับว่าแต่ละหลักสูตรนั้นมีการเรียนการสอนอย่างไรนะครับจบไปแล้วมีงานทำไหมทำอะไรได้บ้างนะครับนอกจากหลักสูตรที่เป็นภาคภาษาไทยนะครับทางคณะวิทยาการจัดการก็ยังมีหลักสูตรบริหารธุรกิจบัณฑิตสาขาวิวิชาการจัดการที่ทําการเรียนการสอนเป็นภาคภาษาอังกฤษด้วยนะครับซึ่งเราเรียกว่าหลักสูตร BBA นะครับนอกจากนั้นก็ยังมีหลักสูตรบัญชีบัณฑิตครับซึ่งสําหรับคนที่เก่งเรื่องตัวเลขนะครับอยากจะรู้บัญชีขององค์กรหลักสูตรนี้น่าจะเหมาะกับน้องๆนะครับกับหลักสูตรสุดท้ายของเราครับก็คือหลักสูตรรัฐประศาสนศาสตร์บัณฑิตนะครับสำหรับน้องๆที่ต้องการจะทํางานในองค์กรภาครัฐนะครับหรืออยากที่จะช่วยเหลือชุมชนนะครับแต่ทั้งนี้ทั้งนั้นครับในสาขาวิชารอปสเนี่ยก็สามารถทำงานในภาคเอกชนได้เช่นกันนะครับทีนี้
ถามว่าแล้วจบมาในแต่ละสาขาวิชาเอกนั้นมีงานทำไหมนะครับถ้าเราย้อนกลับไปสักประมาณ5ปีย้อนหลังนะครับจะพบว่าอัตราการได้งานทำของนักศึกษาที่จบจากคณะอุปจกรณ์เนี่ยครับมีมากกว่า 90% เเลยทีเดียวนะครับถามว่าแล้วที่เหลือ1 0หายไปไหนที่เหลือ1 0ไม่ได้หายไปไหนนะครับแต่เป็นนักศึกษาที่เรียนต่อนะครับเพราะฉะนั้น 100% เซของเราเนี่ยมีอนาคตแน่นอนนะครับแล้วในแต่ละสาขาวิชาเอกเราก็จะมีอาจารย์ผู้เชี่ยวชาญที่คอยดูแลน้องๆอย่างใกล้ชิดนะครับเพราะฉะนั้นน้องๆที่กําลังตัดสินใจเลือกนะครับทีแคสปีนี้อยู่นะครับก็อย่าลืมนะครับเข้าแวะเวียนไปดูนะครับว่าสาขาวิชาบริหารธุรกิจนะครับสาขา BBA หลักสูตรบัญชีบัณฑิตนะครับและรปสของวจกมีอะไรให้น้องๆได้ร่ำเรียนกันบ้างนะครับ So besides those um, Thai program and also English program um, that they are segment um, really clearly that they offer for both uh, language when they teach, right? But now FMS try to apply into in bilingual in all the courses. So therefore, um, we also have Ajahn Arno to teach uh, some of the Thai program as well, right, Ajahn Arno? Oh yeah, yes. I'm starting next semester actually. Mm. I'm saying as a my so we we uh, FMS pretty much um, looking to it for international. So uh, we try to build um, the English competency uh, for all the students because it's really important now, and especially in the business management. Sure, and although you are studying in Thai program, but all uh, learning material going to be in English in order to encourage our students to be global citizens. So far, what we have done is all the student presentation. We encourage the student to present in English already. So this is where FMS try to giving of all uh, all the candidates who are thinking to coming into our faculties to um, receiving the international experience in our faculty. Although we are locating in h a t a i Thailand. Well, that just basically means that when you graduate, as you'll be in a much better position than those people that are co- are only studying in one language, which is Thai. So, seeing as the course materials and so on are in English, you are going to be exposed to an international environment yes. more um, often than what we had before with previous graduates, which put put us on par with some of the other big. Um, universities in Thailand that offer these type of programs. So this is exactly what our faculty is trying to do, and I think it is very, very important for our m a t i o m s i x students that enter the university that eventually graduate um, um, as very, very qualified uh, graduates. Graduates, mm. you you say m a t a y o m is really fluent, n eh? So uh, somehow, um, although you are in m o r C, ha, you also should think as earlier because you should know that um, um, which direction you should go for. Then you can actually aim for studying, you know, in the exam. Especially if you want to come into the business management, English is a is a is the subject where you need to start tutoring that from you know. M4, right? m a t a y o m four and five. Yeah. So that's about it about our faculty. How amazing it is! The faculties that uh, work towards the internationalization now. So we hope to welcome the future student in our home. So we will come back after the break. So welcome back, and we are going to start with the second section of the program. As per usual, we have our English lesson. Um, we will be learning about useful English bus- business vocabulary and also phrases. So, uh, luckily, we once again we have very qualified uh, lecturers uh, 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 in Experts. business um, in our program today. <laughs> so they will be able to give us some very good input uh, into these words and also give us some very good examples. So let's have a look at the first word: agenda. Agenda, probably a word that we use on a daily basis. Am I right? Am, am I right, Ajay? Agenda can be used in different environment, in different situation too. If you're talking about in business environment, then it's something that you prepared about um, something we discuss in a formal meeting, something that um, we uh, list out the important mm-hmm. topics before we go for the for the meetings or you know business deal. One hundred percent. I could not have defined it better myself, Ajahn. Thank you very much. So let's have a look at the example of agenda. How can we use it in a sentence? Actually, the example is related to our third section a bit later. So the example: expanding our business to other areas of the country is an important item on today's agenda. 
Mm. All right. So if we talk about formal meetings, we discuss a certain list of items. Um, those list of items are called an agenda for the meeting. Right. And, and, and how, how about in general when people talking about hidden agenda? Ooh. That's what I've been thinking about when you're talking about agenda because... Most of Thai people are going to say that <laughs> we have hidden agenda. So what does it yes. mean? H- hidden agenda. agenda. Something, something dodgy. Something <laughs> really that, you know... Um, evil <laughs> I think it leads to the evil mind when you want to tackle somebody and try to achieve something yes. get something out of that person I would say it's uh, when someone ha- when, does, when someone does something um, but they have other intentions uh-huh. in doing that yes and hidden agenda mm. I think we've all experienced uh, people <laughs> like that before haven't we I'm not so good at <laughs> it <you know>? <laughs> <laughs> me too <laughs> So it's a negative way. <laughs> it, ca- yeah. it can mean well. It depends on the situation, but ninety percent of the time, you would say negative. If yeah. I want to put in, there is a white agenda and dark agenda. <laughs> oh. So I John Game said that not so good. Yeah, at it. yeah. yeah. I yeah. <laughs> it's like in, in general when people like to talking about we have the hidden agenda to take advantage something from someone. That's very you true. You have experienced a lot about this. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like so intense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. We're off to a very good start. I think a very, very good start. All right, let's have a look at the second word. Also, uh, a word that we use on a very regular basis. The word is. So the next word we look at is objective. So what is the mm-hmm. definition of objective? An objective is a specific goal or target. Now, our objective with the. Bilingual programs in the faculty is what? As a as a main objective. Yes. Uh, because uh, faculty's um, strategic plan to boost internationalizations and create an international environment. So therefore, the teaching and learning uh, is supposed to um, try to uh, convert from the Thai program to the bilingual. Mm-hmm. Yes, and ultimately, um, ultimately, have grad superior graduates than what we had in the past. Correct, superior graduates. Good. All right, let's have a look at another example. The objective of expanding our business is to increase our sales margins. All right, so we look at the ask b- about that. Yeah, <laughs> Kunpat, what about your logistics? Do you have the objectives for the logistics industries? Um, your company, our, our company objections, you mean. Yeah, the objectives of the company. The, com- uh, the objective of our company, we need to expand to other area of. Um, other area of, of industry. Now we main focus on rubber wood business, latex, mm. and um, because we are in South, and we try to expand to other area like um, gener- more general cargo. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm. that's a really good example. Yes, yeah, very very good example. And, All right, and and every business should have their own objectives mm. for achieving the goals. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yes. Good. All right. So let's have a look at the third word. Process, process, the definition for process, a series of actions that achieves a certain end or achieves a certain objective. Mm. Yes, Mm. a series of actions that achieves a certain end or a certain objective. Ajanana, can you give me an example of how you might use process in a sentence? Uh, to promote the dynamic team, in terms of dynamic team, you have to actually get the, all the staff participate into the decision making process. One hundred percent. And and in business, I I think the process gonna be like a a set of activities mm-hmm. that you need to do step by step mm-hmm. in order to achieve the objectives or goals of your company. One hundred percent. Thank you very much, um, Ajahn Game and Ajahn Nana. Um, it's just uh, really good examples of how we're using both objective and process in a sentence, which will definitely help our listeners mm. um, get a perspective of how to use these words together rather than wor- using them separately. Thank you very much for that, Ajahn. All right, let's have a look at the next word. To maintain. To maintain. Simply put, to maintain is to take care of. Yes, to take care of, cover expenses, or keep in a specific state. Ajahn Game, how might you use the word maintain in a sentence? Oh, rarely for me. Because in in marketing, we not maintain. We <laughs> want to be growth. Ah. <laughs> we not maintain the sales revenue, no, for us. Well okay. said. <laughs> ah. 
Good. Thank you very much. What about you, Ajana? Maintain. Maintain. I'm thinking about the hotel. <laughs> If they want to have this um, uh, five stars hotel at all time, they have to maintain their standard. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. Definitely, that's yeah. a very good example of it. Thank you very much. Let's have a look at the example that I have here. Because of the construction problems associated with building this apartment building, it is extremely difficult to mm -hmm. maintain. Mm. To maintain. Mm -hmm. This is a common problem when it comes to construct construction, isn't it? Mm. If um, the construction, if there are problems associated with construction, it's very difficult to maintain. Very difficult to maintain. All right. Let's have a look at the final word that we have here. We're going through them quite quickly today, aren't mm. we? Right. The final word we have is develop. Mm. Develop. So what is what does the word develop mean? It means to grow or change into more advanced, larger, or stronger form. Right, Ajahn Nana, how would you use the word? Develop? I would refer to back to Ajahn again because earlier he was mentioning about marketing that we're actually stop or maintain somewhere. Mm. They always think about growth. That's right. So something that if they're thinking about growth, what else they need to develop? What yeah. that means like they have to develop a new products, they have to develop a new services, you know, and develop a new um, human service or whatsoever. So mm -hmm. maybe you give us some example in terms or, of or, or, uh, actually, I I just have my own question is like, uh, what what difference between develop and improve? Mm -hmm. I think the two are interchangeable terms. Uh -huh. You can probably use them in the same the same context. Uh -huh. Yeah, improve, improving and developing something would would mean uh, I would say they synonyms to one yeah. another and they they basically mean the same thing, don't mm -hmm. they? Mm -hmm. I think he has something in mind. Yeah. No, because <laughs> in, in, in marketing we 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 always or very often mm -hmm. use develop. Like you must develop your marketing plan. See? You must mm -hmm. develop your business plan. However, when 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 we want to uh, improve something, it means like we're going to improve the existing product. Mm. But for okay. developing, it's like we try new. to develop the new mm. product or like the innovation product, something mm. like that one. Mm. So, so I, I think that it's just a little bit of difference between mm. improve and, 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 and develop. Mm. In, in in my opinion, that does make sense. It does make sense completely. Mm. Yes, and also I also think it depends on on which, uh, yeah. which uh, area of business you're yes. in. Yes, mm. yes. So where I would say I would say I'm I my area is entrepreneurship, uh -huh. or my area is small business management. If you talk about business planning, developing a business plan. And improving a, a development, uh, uh, improving a business plan might uh -huh. might mean the same same ah, thing okay, in a I certain see. context. I But see. I can understand what you mean by that. Uh -huh. 100%. Uh -huh. okay, All right, I see. Mm -hmm. good. Now opening the one and only first in Southern Thailand, Master of Business Administration, International Program, Faculty of Management Science, Prince of Songkhla University, Hat Yai Campus. We provide a strong foundation in business administration with concentration in business management, business in ASEAN countries, finance, marketing, and any relevant business management. Studying at our MBA International Program. You will experience close relationship with professors and classmates from around the world. For more information, visit our website www.imba.fmspsu.com or call us at 082-661-6600. Welcome back to FMS Hat Yai to Global. And for now, we are in the third section for the Biz Talk and Anton Game with you. Uh, today, we, are very, we have a very good opportunity to have Kun Pat Tamawadi Seng Sot or Kun Pat, the Managing Director from the Star Logistics Company. Yes. Okay, could you please introduce yourself first? Okay. Uh, my name is Pat and I... I'm so pleased to inform you that I'm graduate from Prince of Songkhla University. In wow, you are our, our alumni too. Yes, mm. yes, in management sign. And I work in tourist industry for one year. After that, I have been working in logistic industry ever since. And I have started my own business about 10 years ago. Oh. Now, uh, um, our focus is our focus is rubber wood business. And our latest project that I'm excited about is... Uh, we are doing free durian meal for our customer to China, uh -huh. which uh, we got exclusive exclusive contact. 
uh-huh. for, uh, to doing for them. That's only durian. Uh, for this new contract, yes, uh-huh. yeah, and of course we do for general uh, services as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so as as your experience in in logistic business, mm-hmm. and I think most of our audience still confused. What the difference between logistic and transportation? They are any the same idea or different mm. idea? So, could you please give our uh, definition of what is the logistic? Is it only about the transportation? No, it's not. Transportation is just one of it. Uh, logistic is a part of supply chain. Ah. Uh, it's normally it's usually involved um, transportation, packaging. Warehousing, oh. operation, and um, information flow oh. also including. I see. So I can say that uh, logistic covers in uh, taking goods from point A to point B with a uh, most efficient route uh-huh. to meet the customer requirement. Ah, oh, I with see. With the reasonable cost. Uh-huh. Well. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. all activities in logistics is the cost in business, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. So, so that's why most of business should uh, focus on lowering the cost of the logistics. Yes. I, I, I think that from from the information that I have for now, uh, most of business have around sixty percent of cost in logistics. Uh, sixty percent of cost. I don't think so because. Uh, most of the cost is for marketing, I think. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 because because what what I said because because uh the logistics sometimes is a part of marketing too. Ah uh, uh. yeah. How is that part of the? Because in marketing, you need to study about the channel of distribution. Mm. Uh-huh. So the activity in channel of distribution is what. Kun Pat said about how to uh, deliver the product or the finished good or service from point A to point B with a low uh, with the lowest low cost, mm. okay? Oh. And then we're gonna charge the other cost. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned low, the the lowest cost whilst maintaining quality as well. Yes, yeah. right, right. correct, well. correct. Whilst, maintain, whilst maintaining quality, yeah. because I think we're where uh, many of us have experiences before mm. where we receive a product or uh, uh, a product uh-huh. but the product is not necessarily in the state uh-huh. where it, where, uh, than what we initially thought it was going to be yeah and that is because of the low quality in the logistic sure. uh, process correct sure yeah, sure so sure and 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 that's a very good example so so that's why in marketing we need to develop a new channel of distribution because if you look at in the past around 20 years ago uh, the po- the Thai post office gonna be the main channel of distribution for uh, snail mail or for other like old top product mm. but for now it's not anymore we have an other players in, in, in our channel of distribution mm. so we try the best to develop the new channel in, o- in, in order to uh, convenience to to our customer mm. in in marketing parts. Okay, so I, I think that we have mm. a, a very good idea about what the logistic is and and the task of the all the uh, uh the logistic department. Okay, so uh look at the question that so finally how how does the logistic help the business? Okay, uh so you can you can see the logistic is um part of the manufacturer. Mm-hmm. So if you can if you plan logistic well, that will make you save a lot of money, mm-hmm. time. And in terms of financial, I think it can help you to increase your cash flow. Ah, oh, I see. Because our management our management they can only can get paid once the shipment arrive the port of destination. So if you arrange the shipment to arrive in the right time, mm-hmm. you also get paid uh, in the right time, and this and you can you can benefit a lot from uh, good cash flow you have. Ah. Vice versa, now the Chinese uh, New Year is coming mm. for the chip, for the manufacturer that you need to send your shipment to China. Uh, the Chinese New Year, the Chinese New Year is approaching some shipment to arrive after ho- long holiday. Mm-hmm. But the manufacturer, they need to ship early in terms of avoid expensive cost of 
warehousing mm-hmm. even for the financial payment in term of LZ mm-hmm. because LZ they will get paid moment of uh, the shipment has left mm-hmm. so the role of logistic to call all the net to get long trans shipment mm-hmm. make the shipment uh, leave early but arrive the destination right at the customer requirement Wow, very interesting mm-hmm. that yes. how how logistic benefit to business. So, if we are the business person and and, yeah. and, and we want to take those uh, benefit, so how how should we prepare ourselves? Yeah, to use the logistic service. So so how how to prepare? Um, I think I believe before you go for marketing, you have to check whether your product can be exported. Ah. Okay, this is number one. It is so important. So, so for each country, they they gonna have uh, some list of prohibited product, right? Yes, yes. But we're talking about Thailand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So number two, you have to check what is the necessary official document mm-hmm. you need to prepare, mm-hmm. and what agency you need to get those from. It could be a uh, foreign trade department of foreign trade. Uh huh. Or any other uh, agency. I see. Mm. Number three, um, this is quite important as well. You have to check the trade benefits, ah. like um, tax intensive. This can help you compete with your competitors. Mm-hmm. And you need to explore the most reasonable route for type and quality of your product. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you should to start with. Those of them. Oh, mm. there is a lots of thing that we yeah. need to do before we going to export and that's why the you logistic. need the logistic agency. Yeah. So come to the next question. Yeah. Is it necessary to use the logistic agency or or, or, or that they, they call it industry as a shipping company, right? Yeah. In Thailand, we call shipping company. Yes. So is it necessary? Okay. Um. Now we we know a little bit more about logistic. Mm-hmm. The logistic. Agency, we provide expertise because we know there is to know about logistic. Mm-hmm. They know everyone we need to know, so we can make your shipment faster and minimize mistakes, which mm-hmm. is important. In terms of costing, using logistic agency can be compared as buying thing from the re- um, the retailer. Ah, I'm sorry, the wholesaler. The wholesale. Yeah, the you wholesaler. can get much cheaper than buying from retailer mm-hmm. uh, or small distributors. Okay, it's okay if you are big corporation. You have big capital, huge volume. You mm-hmm. can invest for logistic department. Uh-huh. But to be frank with you, a lot of big company. And well-known company, they also put this job in logistic agency. Ah, yes. To to lowering the cost. Yes. Okay. And if you are not, if your business scale is not that big, and you also need to focus in other area mm-hmm. of your business, like looking for the potential customer, good vendors to grow your business, mm-hmm. then using logistic agency is a good, is a good idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so if if we we look at Hat Yai or Songkla for now, mm-hmm. what what is the situation for logistic business here? Uh, Songkla Songkla has one port. Ah. Uh huh. And um, we have in in Songkla, right? In Songkla, Am Phe, Gua Khao Deng. Ah, I see. Ah, uh, and we have at least three custom house. Mm-hmm. Padang Besa, Sedao, and. Dan Prakop. Okay. The new one. The new one, but not so. Uh, not, not so popular. Not so popular. <laughs> okay. Uh, some some shipment from Songkla ship via Songkla port, mm-hmm. but for those three custom house, they are support Penang port in Malaysia. Mm-hmm. And I think because of limitation of um, the vessel space mm-hmm. and the high traffic of Penang port. Uh. That can make the cost of shipping through Penang Port is more effective. 
Uh-huh. What mm. I know, one of the thing that um, at the port also have to mind about the level of the 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 sea. It been on port now. Um, the the water is going lower. You know why? Um, why this is important because of the big ship. Yes. Cannot yeah. comes in. Yeah. 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 Right. So if for Song Kla, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, for Song Kla. Mm. So that's why all small ship and all small small uh, import import yeah. cargo only mm. can comes in. That's the problem that they have. That's why uh-huh. the big ship um, they they actually sail to. Penang port more. Yes. Mm. Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's the main reason. That's unfortunate for the nature. This yeah. is the natural condition. Mm, right. You can't really avoid, can you can't control that. Right? Yes. Yes. Mm. So, so, uh, if the business here in Songkla want to to use your service in, in your company, so, yeah. what, what kinds of service that, that you can help the business person here? Oh, as I mentioned, mm-hmm. we do all of that. And we can everything, every logistic task. Yes, oh. giving information, transportation. What kind of scale? Mm-hmm. Scale of the business. What kind of scale? scale how to measure? The yeah. big one, the big company, or the the medium company, or the small one. Oh, okay. Now we only dealing with um, the big company. But mm-hmm. as I said, I'm trying to expand to, um, like the um, the new entrepreneur yeah. that they need mm-hmm. to start their business. Yeah, but actually, we welcome to give the information. Uh-huh. You can go to our company page or Facebook if uh-huh. you are, if you are familiar on that, and leave your question there. Our customer service will get you answer as po- as uh-huh. soon as possible. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm. So so it is like your role is as the uh, collector, right? Some product from the small entrepreneur until it's full of. Mm. Oh no, uh, no, 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 not, not, that, that not like that. Mm-hmm. That's we call LCL. Uh, what 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 does it mean? Um, yes, you correct from the small one uh-huh. until complete the container, the uh-huh. whole container. But what we are doing now is we dealing with um like rubber wood factory. Uh-huh. They ship uh, one shipment maybe twenty containers, mm-hmm. and we provide them ocean freight. Transportation, documentation, all paperwork. Mm-hmm. Yes, and also include financial because we give them credit. Ah, mm. to do everything for them, yeah. for the big company. But they only get that. the customer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There and is a there is a terminology that they name you as a freight broker. Is it correct? Uh, freight broker. Yeah, freight, yeah. yeah, I've heard of this before. It's yeah. I think it's like the one who deal with the whole logistic mm. become an agent. And but there's a term mm. of yeah. that. That mm. I think it's probably it's it 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 differs from country to country. So mm. in, Th- in Thailand they were called logistic agency, and maybe mm. in another different country will be a freight freight broker for mm. example, freight mm. right freight yeah, broker. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. But but in general here we we can call at the shipping, shipping company yes. mm. yeah. as the whole thing we call shipping mm. company. Uh, yeah. uh-huh. Maybe but we, they have a like the subcategories of, yeah. of the shipping company. Okay, and 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 finally, can can you give any advice for the business in 2020 for the Hadai people? <laughs> okay. To be very ho- big question. <laughs> <laughs> very big yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and to be honest with you. I cannot uh, forecast what's going to happen <laughs> in 2020. <laughs> I may cannot give good advice for experienced people. I only can uh, want to send my message to someone who doing business or need to start the business. You should do with what you love mm-hmm. and do with passion, mm-hmm. honesty. Mm-hmm. So and put enough effort on it. And mm-hmm. I think uh, this is a more And do with the right mindset, and uh-huh. this is the more important for every kind of mm. business. Okay. Yeah. So, so if you want to contact, or if the audience want to contact your yes. company, how to? Okay, you can call. If you want to call, you want to. You can call at zero eight one seven six six two zero seven four, and our company Facebook is forwarding forwarding Star Logistic. Okay, yes. I see. Okay, thank you very much, Kun Patamawadi s e n g s o t or Kun Pat, the managing director from Star Logistic Thailand, giving a very, very good advice about the logistic uh, task and logistic situation here in Songkla, and we are looking forward to like have some cooperation with 
this company I get in the future. Or right. maybe our faculties, um, the lecturers probably would like to invite you to come in yes. as a special guest. I was thinking the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah because a student need to learn yes. not only the in in the logistic program. Yeah. I believe that all programs. I think it's a, yeah, it would be very good. Um, uh, we're very good to have her there specifically because of the practical experience that she has rather than just hearing the theoretical theoretical experience so yes thank you very much for, for my pleasure yeah. and also thank you very much um, assistant professor Tira Sakajan Game thank you very much for having me too and we will have you regularly sure <laughs> sure <laughs> and we In have our show and, and we already have planned for the next tip and we will keep it secret. We will come yes, back yes. with another episode of FMS Hadjai 2 Global. So, yes, thank you very much once again for joining us. Uh, it was a very productive session. We learned a lot. I certainly learned a lot. Um, thank you very much to our guests for joining us. Thank you very much, Ajahn Nana. Thank you very much, um, Ajahn Ano. And we will see you again next time. See you. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับสนับสนุนการสนทนาจากทุกคณะวิชาโดยมหาวิทยาลัยสงขลานครินทร์